Welcome to our review on the structure of the Earth. So first thing we need to understand then is what actually makes up the Earth itself. Now what we actually got are four main parts that we should remember. And you can see those in the diagram on the left hand side there. The very outermost part is the crust. Inside that we've got the mantle. And then we've got the core which is made out of the outer core which is a liquid. And the inner core which is a solid. One thing to bear in mind, when we talk about the crust, we're talking about that rocky surface that we're actually able to move around on. When we think about the core, we need to remember that that does contain iron. Now, obviously we do know that this is a structure of the Earth to our best understanding, but we do have some problems with studying that structure directly. First one is that the crust is actually too thick to drill through. So what we're talking about is something that we couldn't actually use our own drills that we've got today to drill down deep enough to study all the way through. And the other one is that we've got some parts that are too hot for our scientific instruments. So if you imagine the fact that things like the mantle and the outer core being liquid, then what we find is that's incredibly hot. So our scientific instruments would just be melted. We do have some solutions, and this is how we've actually got this understanding of the structure of our Earth. First one is that we're going to use seismic waves. So what we can actually do there is either use earthquakes, which produce se seismic waves naturally, or we can have explosions that create seismic waves and then we can just look and see how they travel through the earth itself and that gives us an idea about what bits are solid and what bits are liquid. So we've got another word here that we need to know the meaning of which is the lithosphere. So whenever we're talking about the lithosphere we're talking about the crust and the outer part of the mantle and by the outer part we mean the bit closest to the crust. Now the lithosphere itself is relatively cold and it's quite rigid and it's also broken up into large parts called tectonic plates and you can see those tectonic plates in the diagram on the left there okay the yellow lines give us the boundary between them so literally these tectonic plates make up the entire surface of our planet and they are constantly moving they move at about two and a half centimeters a year so they're moving slowly but they are moving and the reason they can move is that they are actually less dense than the mantle so that means they float on top of it. Because the tectonic plates are moving then we can get some problems associated with that. The first one is an earthquake. So what we find is that earthquakes will happen because of the movement of those tectonic plates. We'll also have a second problem of volcanoes where those plates meet. So what we find is that with our volcanoes then molten rock or magma is able to get to the surface through the weak spots in the crust. And the reason that magma actually rises to the surface is because it's less dense. 